What's going on everybody, Spunky here. Um, so, I recently updated my nurse thread um, on the Gearbox Alpha forums. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to see that. Um, I'm just going to be pretty much expanding on everything in that thread. So, let's uh, let's hop into it. I'll, I'll mainly just be doing some runs on uh, Knuckle Dragger, but this, this pretty much works for everything. We're going to be doing it on OP8. Um, a lot of people say you can't use like a pure nurse on OP8 or whatever. Um, I'm in the process of also completing UVHM again, so Maya sounds like Handsome Jack. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so essentially, you know, if you if you've seen the thread, you know, these are everything I've talked about. Um, you know, I switch between the flush and the boss Becca. Um, flush is mainly for like bosses, like we'll do we we'll use the boss. Um, evolution is something you should be using if you can't do that. Um, the Neo, you can see what I'm talking about between like the capacity and the health and everything. Um, the recharge delaying rate is kind of, I don't know, useless with some of Maya's skills. I won't get into that. Um, but yeah, and if you can't, if you can't uh, find one of these or you just don't want to, you know, farm Spyco for one of them, then uh, an adaptive shield would be best for you. Um, uh, legendary Nurse class mod and or Angelic Nurse class mod, clearly and uh, Blood of the Ancients, and if you don't want to use a Blood of the Ancients, then you can use a Vitality Relic for the same effect, and we use the Longbow Stormfront, and this is the build we are using. I will do some uh, team demonstrations um, <clears throat> to demonstrate the power of Elated. Uh, I will do Sustenance now, and I will also do well, uh, Restoration. And this is excellent because you get a total of 10 seconds of phase lock duration as opposed to, I think it's 7.5 7 because 5 out of 5 is just uh, 2.5. Also, have physics on because dandruff. Dandruff is great. So, we'll be doing <clears throat> a few knuckle dragger runs. Um, I like to use uh, this, the, the Maggie. It's fire rate. That trigger finger. Same with the Becca. Becca's great. Cool thing about the Becca is, like, you shoot once. There's a one really fast bullet, and then three slower bullets. So it's absolutely excellent for, say, knuckle dragger. So face lock, throw a scorn ball. As you can see. The Becca. It's fantastic. Um, the difference between boss, obviously boss has more damage, and flush is, uh, where is it? There it is. Is that it has a bigger clip size. Um, it, it's generally better in every way. Um, minus, what, 6,000 damage? 60,000 damage? Well, 60,000 damage, damn. Um, but you get more stability because of the dull stock. So, let's see. Actually, I yeah, will do a comparison of that right now. So... As you can see, it's pretty crazy, but you get more DPS out of this. As you can see, it's a lot more manageable, and you get a lot more DPS. So, let's go ahead and exit out. Now, this is OP8, <clears throat> but um, Slag is generally uh, one of your best weapons in OP8. Or one of your best tools, I should say. It's not really a weapon. But, uh, as I mentioned, you can, you can swap this out for the Florentine, if you need extra slagging abilities. Um, this is definitely a good thing to have if, like, let's say Scorn isn't up and nobody's really slagged. Um, the Becca is generally better for bosses and stuff. So, this will also strip shields, because it's a Florentine, a Florentine, however people want to say it. Oh, personally, yeah. I personally don't give a fuck, but yeah, so you know, you can just like Silence. phase lock them, slag them, hellfire, even the hellfire is really good. Um, this is like with no B, really the only DPS skills I have are, is acceleration and wreck, that's about it. But uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you, you pretty much do that on enemies. The Butcher is, is great as well. I use a non-elemental one, just because I like non-elemental. Um, it's pretty great. I guess... Uh... Oh, I, didn't, I never really went over this. Um, 
the, the Evo and the Neogenator, they both have a passive health regeneration. However, I think the Evos is higher as well. And when you take damage, um, a, another reason to have a, a higher shield capacity than, say, the Neo, is when you take damage, the, the health regeneration is quicker. So, better to have the Evo. Second would be the Neo, and then the third would be the Adaptive Shield. Um, you won't get any passive health regeneration out of that, so you're lying completely on sustenance. Um, yeah, sustenance is great, because the lower your health is, the more health regeneration you have. So as you can see, now that I have this, if I were to take uh, uh, damage, we'll say, um, I don't have a mini torpedo, I don't know if it... If it works with like a mini torpedo rocket. So if you get like a low level torpedo rocket and you have a shield and you damage it, it'll further increase it, I think. I need to test that at some point. But uh, yeah, so sustenance, Evo, Neo, fantastic. Um, and then we also have, you know, elated when we when we phase lock and, and sweet release. Um, so I don't think there's really anything else I wanted to cover. Other than the fact, I guess we can go fast travel to some place that has some enemies in OP8, and we can we can do that just to show like off related and survivability test, I guess you could say. So what we'll do? I think we'll just go to the southern shelf and we'll run. I will use the backup. Physics! Yay! Because physics. Because why not, right? So, all of you are like, oh no, you can't nurse and stuff. It, it, okay, I'm going to make this very clear right now. It's going to take you longer, but you can do it. So it goes. You! Stop! Yes, it's even possible without slag. I know, crazy, right? I'll go kill Boom Boom. I haven't really gotten in the fray of anything. Yeah. Fun stuff. Now I'll use the Becca. Why not? Why not? Your dirty sockets dump won't touch me! We'll see. Quiet. So, elated. Fan hat. Look at this. This is OP8, everybody, alright? Silence! Becca's too good, first of all. They need to nerf the shit out of this weapon. But the cakes, man. The cakes. I'm telling you, the cakes. You stop. So, survivability, check. Absolutely. Damage dealing, check. Okay, listen. You stop. Quiet. So it goes. I gotta. Oh. Sweet release is so good. So, so I wanna, actually, you know what? What we'll do? I'll equip the Hornet, and we should be alright. Hornet's pretty good. Silence. Except when it can't slag anything, and then you're fucked. And you're okay. Okay, so quiet. That health regeneration. Dude, I'm telling you, it's it's amazing. Huh. I think what I'll do is I will continue to use that. Silence! 
Like I said, like it'll definitely take longer, but you can definitely do it. So. It's literally the worst. There. Okay. Now then, so flesh targets, right? Even the Hellfire is fantastic. Oh, right. So the Butcher, excellent for flying targets as well. So. You don't have a butcher? Get a conference call. As you can tell, surviving on OP8 is very difficult. So is killing everything. So yeah, that'll be it for this little demonstration. Um, when we come back, I will do some team healing tests. Um, with elated and everything, and I'll show you the, the merits of everything with uh, my good friend um, on the forums. His name is Dirge, a.k.a. Uh, D. Swalheim on Twitch and stuff. So when we come back, we'll be doing that. Uh, see you in just a second. Okay, so welcome to the demonstration part with my co-op partner, Dirge. Dirge, say hello. Hello, everyone. All right. So we're going to talk over some strategies right quick, and then we're going to go implement them so you can watch us be excellent. Um, I guess one of the main points is you want to have, like, you, your teammates, you want to have more health than your teammates. That way you can regenerate their health quicker um, than you regenerate yours, obviously, because they're going to be in the fray and you're not. So you kind of want to stand back, and I already covered this, um, and you want to let them be there, and once you stand back, you have a better uh, vantage point as well, so you can you can phase lock a certain target uh, near a downed enemy to immobilize it to make sure that they can get a second win quicker, and when they do, um, Sweet Release is right there, and the orbs go straight to them, thus giving them like full health pretty much instantly. Um, so go ahead, uh, talk about a little bit what your build is, and as opposed to Nurse versus DPS. So I spec completely or just about completely into a DPS my uh you can't see my build from here but we can probably link it in the video later um I'm spec'd all the way down to rune with all your DPS skills there I have maxed out mind's eye wreck I am spec'd into resin sweet release because those are kind of the basic minimums for my healing uh accelerates maxed out ward and inertia are maxed out for a little defense suspension to get my DPS skills going longer while phase lock and Quicken is 4 out of 5 to basically just get my phase locks faster. I'm using a Becca, a Twister, two Pimpernels I have on the B for maximum damage, so I'm not very durable. I'm currently playing a glass can. And legendary Simcom on, which is kind of what I usually wear with my... I'm wearing a Fire Bone of the Ancients for more cooldown, more damage, and a Quasar Grenade, so I am pretty much as glass cannon as you can be with Maya. Pretty much. And generally, most of the time when you play with people, they're going to be wearing the B anyway. So, shall we get to the killing? Let's get to the killing. Alright, so I'm just kind of going to run down here without worrying about too much. 
I know I got someone behind me that can pretty much take care of that stuff. So I'll just let you do most of the killing, how about that? Yep. Oh, arsonist. You! Stop! So right there you see I was starting to get low. Spunky held his phase lock until I needed it. He didn't just phase lock right away because there's enemies to phase lock. You also got to see Sweet Release in action there as well. Also, a good thing about Restoration is that all the damage you do on OP8, if you just randomly hit your, your friend or whatever, then, uh, oh, yeah. This is gonna be trouble. So, for instance, like, since he's down, right, I can just res him, he's got that much health, hit him with a gun, full health, instantly. Fantastic. Another thing, uh, Restoration, a lot of people don't realize that skill wasn't great in true Vault Hunter mode and some of this other stuff. It was nice, but nice was about all it was. But with the way healing scaled, especially because in OP8 our health hasn't scaled, Restoration, that percent just got way better. Because our damage versus health is scaled so far in the opposite, where damage is so far higher than health. Restoration is now, you can just one-shot somebody to almost full health. So once again there, I was really low, and then he pulled a phase lock right when I needed it. He didn't just phase lock random. Oh, all the healing forever. Fantastic. Another thing too is you can actually, if you really wanted to, you can kind of run in the fray. Make sure you hit your teammates with the Butcher. The Butcher is a fantastic healing weapon. Once again, down to almost nothing, instantly pass health gate. Or even Silence. more than pass health gate, full health. That's right. So I'm just standing here with the B, just taking damage from these guys not caring. And running out of ammo, like an idiot. <laughs> um, a good, another good, uh, good thing to do is, let's say, you know, you're in the middle of, uh, of the, the, the thick of it, really. Um, is if your phase lock isn't up, because you're not wearing a proficiency relic, and you're wearing a uh, max health uh, relic, just shoot them. Shoot your teammates. That way, even if, you know, your phase lock's not up, you're still healing them for however much. Because even the butcher does uh, 21,000 per bullet. So it's still an excellent amount of healing, and the fire rate is incredible. So we'll do this last bit of area here, and then I think we'll call it a day, because I think we've pretty much pretty much covered everything. Silence! Yeah, I mean, the other thing, I don't know if you kind of were talking about the distance that you play at, is just holding back there and seeing the whole map, watching the spawns, knowing which dangerous enemies are up, and not just kind of blindly running in. Quiet! <laughs> I mean, if you're a sports player, you know, you, you've got to be the point guard, the midfielder, the, the control person of the of the match with your teammates. Definitely. Silence! Silence! So it goes. Powerful woman, bury me upside down. I guess we should kind of talk about Sweet Stop. Release a little bit. Um, so I think somebody was saying that Sweet Release heals for 15% of your missing health. Um, based off of your total health, so I think that still applies to teammates. Silence. Just like, um, just like Elated does, perhaps. Could be wrong on that, though. It might be his teammates you missing health as well. Stop. Yeah, I haven't been able to confirm or deny that. It's kind of hard to test. Um, but the orbs are kind of altered. They don't all hit you at once. So you can kind of run away from them or run towards them if you need them. But they, they hit you in succession, so rather than just being an instant big heal, it's more like a healing over time. And it's fantastic comes healing in really over time. Handy with, yeah, yeah, and it comes in really handy when you're taking sustained damage. You know, bullets keep hitting you, and then you keep getting health as those bullets are hitting you. Quiet. Don't worry, guys. Are we exactly. going to legendary while doing this? Of course not. But we got a Blood of the Ancients, what? Oh, that's perfect. 
Speaking of the blood. <laughs> exactly. The best nurse comp. Mm -hmm. Or relic. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I think we've, we've covered pretty much everything. You wanna, any final thoughts before we close out the video? Oh, uh, no, I'm just kinda, I guess a little bit, but as we just showed there, nursing isn't just spamming the phase lock. There is a skill to nursing. It's more than just a gear check and a build check. You kinda got a used to how you're doing it and managing the battlefield and managing your phase locks. Where a DPS mod is kinda the opposite of the nursing one. Definitely, and as you all saw, uh, both of us were not using any moxie weapons, and we were being healed just fine. If you play correctly, you don't need moxie weapons whatsoever. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video, and it is going to take everybody some practice to do it, but you guys will do it. And uh, I expect to see a lot more nurses out there. Peace out.